on season six episode two this one's called sneeze so guys the last episode we did leave off with seeing the uh phantom at the end of the episode i think that's one of the phantoms that came out of the phantom zone uh which we did learn about that you know i did not even know it existed we got to meet a, a person named raya i think raya is dead i don't know it didn't really confirm that she was dead you know we saw her get stabbed but did she survive though that's the question so i have to assume that she's dead obviously from that point but you never know where she may pop up somewhere and you know like a surprise entrance or something like that i don't know we got to uh, see jimmy olsen in this episode as well for the first time i think because i don't think we ever got to see uh, jimmy olsen at all because i'm i, I would have remembered if we saw jimmy olsen i recognize the actor the actor is definitely familiar. Jimmy Olsen, I don't think we got to see him yet. And then we see, like, Chloe and Jimmy have, like, a, you know, a thing or something like that. You can see Clark looking like, like, really? <laughs> like, yeah. And, yeah, he really wanted to talk about that moment with Chloe about when they kissed or whatever. And she's like, you know what? I'm just, it, it was the end of the, I felt like it was the end of the world. And I just took a shot, basically. Zod is technically gone. But I don't think from the first episode, seriously, Zod would be gone. Uh -uh, I don't think so. I think he definitely will come back at some point, you know, during the season. There's no way he's just gone from the first episode. I mean, we just see his, like, his spirit or whatever. Like, he looked like a phantom as well. You know, pretty much leave uh, Lex's body through Darrell's, like, item. I can't even, like, her, his stone or whatever. I can't remember what that thing is. It's like, it looked like a damn stone. Like, looked like the, obviously, Superman's uh, logo on it. He used that against Zod. It was pretty much like his kryptonite, basically. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah, and then Lana had to face uh, Zod as well. And, of course, she's trying to figure out, like, what the hell is going on. And, of course, you know, when Lex came to, to himself and went to uh, Lana, you can see Lana was actually very scared of him because it's reminding it's reminding her of, like, those horrible times with, obviously, General Zod. So, and obviously getting her hand stabbed through. And that's, that's going to leave definitely a scar. Yeah, uh, Lionel, man, really, really cares about Martha. You could definitely, it really, I mean, we know it showed for for all these seasons, but this really showed how much he really cares about uh, Martha, like, dearly. Like, you could definitely see that. But yeah, anyway, guys, the Patreon sponsor for today is from Olivia. Olivia, thank you for your wonderful support for this month. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Make sure you just go on the page because they're joining our appreciating support that does come around. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Smallville. Experts predicted recovery from Dark Thursday would take Dark years. Thursday? Oh, that's what they're calling it. Been out again all night, haven't you? Can't do what I need to do in the daylight. Clark, I know you want to help, but you can't single-handedly rebuild everything that's been destroyed. It's my mess, Mom. I need to clean it up. I've never seen you this worn out. Even you have your limits. The chores can wait. I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. Hmm. Man, he's worn out. Oh my god. She's good. be asking questions oh no i wonder what she's gonna find out if she ever will in smallville that'd be interesting you know for someone about to change addresses you're traveling pretty light yeah well i don't need a lot it's only temporary they think the school should reopen by next semester who's falling it was nice of you to offer me a room at the mansion hey you guys are not gonna believe what just happened to me I'm out there jogging along, minding my own business. When out of nowhere, a barn door comes falling from the clear blue sky and almost crushes me. How does that happen? <laughs> Maybe it fell from an airplane. <laughs> Good guess, but the only thing up there was a severely traumatized sparrow. Oh, does Clarky have the sniffles? <laughs> it's just a little cold. Honey and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Works every time. First it makes you sneeze a bunch of times, then I swear you're pretty much cured. You didn't lose our pass. I think we're all out of cayenne, Lois. No. No, you're not. Where did your barn door go? It was here late last night when I came to drop off the documents, and now it's gone. Look at that. It is gone. And it's been ripped right off its hinges. Do it looked familiar. Now, how in the world does that happen? She wants to find out. Watch. She's going to find out later in the season, maybe. Hopefully.
The bear is hibernating. Over. Damn. Probably the same guys that followed him or whatever, so. See, I told you I am no chicken little and that is no acorn. Whoa. Now, how is that even remotely conceivable? The Kents live miles away from me. Okay, it's definitely weird, I'll give you that, but it's not wall of weird. It's called a microverse. A micro what? It's like a sudden. Mini she's trying to keep it keep his secret. Extreme changes in the temperature. It's it's actually not that unheard of in the Midwest. Either you've been watching a little too much Weather Channel, or you're at the Daily Planet has turned you into a hardened skeptic. It's called being realistic, Lois. You might want to try it once in a while. You were the one who always told me that science can explain only a fraction of what happens in this crazy town. And this happens to fall into that fraction. Sometimes the answers you're looking for are no further away than the front pages of your Scientific American. She don't believe that crap. Specifically told not to use violence. So? I don't answer to anybody, okay? Especially your boss. And what I want to know is how bullets bounced off his body like ping pong balls. Information like that is very valuable on the open market. Lex! Yeah, I was thinking, why don't we uh, try a little experiment? What are you doing? I told you I don't remember any of it happening. Yeah, but it did, and I want to see it happen again. Dude, no. no. Dude, he still doesn't believe it. It's like, dude, you just shot him. Funny. What are you doing here? Actually, I'm living here now, looking for Lex. He's not here. Lex has gone missing, Anna. I think you may have been kidnapped. I just want to help find Lex. Then do it. You can see in her eyes she despises him. Like, literally despises him. Don't pretend you're doing it for him. She is hurt. Like, literally. That is weird. Is that her room? That's gotta be her room. That looks terrible. Oh my god. The first gunshot was a minor flesh wound, Lex. Now this one may sting a little more. Do you wanna keep your new girlfriend happy? All right. All right, you win. There's a serum. It's in a lab on the 33rd floor of Luther Corp. It's in the vault in the center cabinet. The code is Julian 452. Straight up lie to him. Because that's the only thing they will believe. Hostile takeovers haven't aged you a bit. Oh. Who's that? Tell me what's your secret. It's a 40 year old Highland Scotch. Certainly helps to smooth the stress. I vigorously recommend it. Welcome to Metropolis, Oliver. It's a nice gesture. Wait, Oliver Queen? I guess I shouldn't be surprised, should I? You've always been so generous. Wait, when was Oliver Queen on here? In the papers. Oliver Queen moves to Metropolis. I was very curious. You've made such a name for yourself in Star City. In the crisp Midwestern air. The Green Arrow on Smallville. You had a chance to touch base with my son? Yet? What? I haven't had a chance. Been meaning to. How is old Lex doing, by the way? Has he finally managed to step out of your shadow? I mean, he actually picked the good one, too. changed a lot since your uh, boarding school days together. You have so much as laid a hand on Lex. The word suffer will take on a whole new meaning to you. Have a pleasant stay in Metropolis, Oliver. Pretty much is. However brief it is. It wasn't him, obviously. Dude! I can't believe Oliver's in this! That was unexpected. 
So he moved from Star City to Metropolis right now. Heck, if your sneeze could blow a barn door seven miles across Smallville, I bet you anything you could take that one out no problem. Chloe, I just can't force it. Why not? You can do anything. Except sneeze on command. Take a really deep breath and blow it out as hard as you can. Uh oh, he's, he's gonna start using his new power. Working. Come on, let's see what you got. Huff, puff, and blow this door down. There it is. Dude, that was amazing. Good thing you didn't have garlic today. <laughs> I love it. Get back. Oh. He's out. This is when he's gonna use, use his power. The blow power. Take all the fire out or something like that. He has to walk away, can't show himself. Time stops in Metropolis. Miracles really do happen. Man walked on the moon, call waiting was created, and Lois Lane got her first byline on the front page of the Inquisitor. Hey, that's great, Lois. I don't know how I feel about the alien angle, but... Yeah, I wasn't too crazy about the E.T. spin either, but my editor insisted it helps all papers, so... Well, let's hear for journalistic integrity. <laughs> Look, I swear to God, when I was writing that article, I don't know, I, I don't think I've ever been happier in my life. I think I finally found my calling. That's journalism. Journalists. Why are you <laughs> Hey, how about you come join us at the lake? Change the weather? Yes! Oh, that's amazing! That was, oh, that was awesome. He could just change the weather he wants to. Ooh, he in trouble. Hey. When I moved in, you forgot to mention I'd be living with Big Brother. Lana, those are just security cameras to ensure the safety of everyone on this property. I see. Was I breaching security when I was alone in my bedroom? Lana. Okay, you clearly have the wrong idea. Those cameras are only viewed if there's an emergency. I would never invade your privacy like that. But you already have. By being its own camera. Lex. The cameras go where I do. If I'd stop him, but he would have killed me too. Well, we couldn't have that now, could we? I guess I'm just gonna have to start being more careful as to who I trust. Speaking of which, how's my old buddy Lex doing? Whatever powers he had, are clearly gone. He wanted to find out, so Oliver did. He did do it. But sir, there was someone else in the warehouse. Someone who seems to have other abilities. Dude, look at me. Look at his arrow. Wow. Borneo. Guys, this was a really great episode. I, I was not expecting to see uh, Oliver Queen in Smallville. That is exciting. Like, they actually picked the good one, too. Like, um, he actually looks pretty similar to the one in the Arrow, sh you know, Arrow from CW. He actually looks pretty similar. So, I actually, I like it. I was I was not expecting him. Of course, seeing him use, uh, you know, his arrows. Of course, you, you can see he's amazing at it. He was the one that sent those two. Uh, people to kidnap Lex so he, you know Lionel was actually right he was the one that was he was doing that and he wanted to find out you know where he got his powers and stuff like that so now I was gonna try to find uh, Clark obviously he doesn't know who Clark is yet but he has to find the person who has uh, these you know these abilities and stuff so uh, he's definitely gonna try to find that out we know how Oliver is Oliver generally doesn't trust no one he wants to know who's around him he always wants to know this was amazing i mean that was a huge surprise i'm i'm actually stoked that he's in here and i wonder how uh clark and uh oliver are gonna meet how they're gonna what's their conversation gonna be like it, it's gonna be really cool to see i do like the actor they picked for oliver 
I think they were spot on, spot on with him in the show, literally. And, and on top of that, Clark, you know, developed uh, his ability for the breath, basically, or you know, basically he could blow wind. That's pretty much what he could do. The way they put it together, obviously, and you see him, you know, use his ability and actually use it for the first time. Obviously, Chloe, you know, encouraging him to use it against the wall, and he just, <laughs> you know, he basically just destroyed the entire wall right there. Was just, you know, super, you know, super cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to, you know, use it. Honestly, I pretty much forgot that he had that power for some reason. I don't know why I forgot that, you know, he had that. I've seen many other shows that he had that power for some reason for Smallville. I just forgot about that until I saw it. I was like, oh, I mean, it, I guess that's his, I don't know if that's his last one that he has, or I don't know if there's any other abilities that he has that he needs to develop, but that was super cool to see. Really great. And Lana, you know, you know, she felt like her, you know, privacy was, you know, invaded by, you know, Lex, but Lex is, you know, explained to her that this is how I live. And I'm pretty sure he has cameras in his room all the time. So it's just, he's always paranoid who's around him, who's coming into his house, of course. So basically she has to accept, you know, that's how he lives. Of course, she, he said he said he's going to take the camera out and that's what he's going to do. Uh, Lois is starting to develop an interest in journalism. That's awesome. Of course, we already know she's going to get into that. We saw her wrote her first, uh, you know, article and got it on the paper. So it's awesome. On top of that, I wonder when she's going to find out, you know, about uh, Clark's powers. I wonder when that's going to happen. I don't think it may happen to Smallville. I I don't know. I really don't know. So yeah, anyway guys, so please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure to go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction and also consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next Smallville.